<laughs> Shalom. Um, my name is Pastor KT, and today we do have another weekly uh, devotional topic, and it is thankfulness. Thankfulness, and what is that? The state of expressing gratitude, you know, saying thank you. And let's start from this premise, you know, that you are all born with nothing. Nothing. And let's read this from the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 21. What does it say? And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That was Job when he was going through really bad tribulations. And we do know what happened. But he managed to say, I was born with nothing. Let's hear another testimony in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, first part. What does it say? For who maketh thee differ from another? And was, what hast thou that thou did not receive? Can you say that whatever you have, whatever you own, that you haven't received in one way or the other? God allowed you to possess and to have and to own whatever you have. Listen to this wonderful example. In the book of Luke chapter 17, verse 12 to 17. Let's go through it real quick. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood far off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Yeshua, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourself to the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Verse 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice, glorify, glorified Elohim. And he went and fell down on his face at his feet, who Yeshua's feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Yeshua answered, answering, he said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the others? Where are the others in terms of saying thank you? My brother, my sister, look at your life. You have so much to thank God for. Sometimes, you know, before you get a breakthrough, before you receive your blessings, you go through many difficulties. Sometimes joblessness, no fear, no mode of transport. You don't even know whom to marry. You don't even have a soulmate for young people. You know, confusion. You can't even, you know, sometimes you are behind with your bills, your house rent, mortgage. You can't even afford a car. Car repayments is a problem. You are behind. And you may think that, you know, your life is upside down at this point and that you'll never recover. Stop there first. Look around. Look around. Look around. Do you have anything you can thank God for? Just one thing? Yes, you do. You have. <laughs> Go ahead and glorify God for, for that. And promise him. That you will wait upon him. Just the way he has provided whatever you can identify. You will still keep on waiting for him. And while doing so, you will be thankful for what you already have. First, Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 says, In everything give thanks. You know, brother and sister, your friendship <laughs> with Elohim with God, has a lot to do with your thankfulness. So every time when you wake up in the morning, you need to start with this statement. Thank you for this breath of life. God bless you. Think about it. And shalom. <laughs>